What I'm going to wish like the TEG Cusick Park. Ladies and gentlemen, very welcome to this afternoon's launch of Irvi TV here in Cusick Park, a new innovation for the times that are in it. We're now going to be streaming live, uh, live uh, senior club hurling and football matches in Westmead. And I'm here with uh, Westmead County Board Chairman, Mr. Billy Foley. An exciting new development, a, a new innovation for Westmead GA. And in the times that's in it, obviously it's going to be, it's going to be a, a great way for people who can't attend the games to see them. And, and, and uh, we're delighted with it. And it's, it's an opportunity for people to watch the games from their own homes. Here with the man whose idea ear VTV was, Mr. Donny Malone, the county PRO for Westmead GA. Donny, um, a new stream, a new idea, something different for the times that we live in. And something really that we, we really had to do. Yeah, look, I suppose... Um, you can go with streams of any sort on a phone or whatever and the quality just wouldn't be the same so we decided that we needed to do do it right when we were doing it and uh, you know streams are expensive so you know we've had to put a charge on the games of 10 euro um but look we feel that it'll be worth it we hope it'll be worth it we hope people maybe can can gather as families and watch a game and you know at home if they can't go go as a family to a game and um, we think it will be good value for money i think the technology that we're using is excellent. We're using um, two four seven TV. Um, they're our provider, um, and Ollie and Jared then, of course, will be our, our cameramen. Um, and I suppose the way it works is we have a remote, remote production centre back in the UK that these guys work from, and uh, they will do the graphics and do the replays and do the camera angles and and so on. And they're constantly talking to everyone, talking to the commentators, talking to uh, the cameramen to try and get the best quality picture for the viewer, for the user. And we really do think it will be value for money. And, you know, we hope people will, will buy into it. People will get on to it. Could you explain to us how people will actually be able to get on to this, the pay stream, how they'll be able to pay for that, and what games maybe will be available? I know we have some next weekend. So um, I suppose what we will do is um, we will have a EarV TV um, link or link button on the home page of the website. Um, we will also provide links on Twitter and, and Facebook. Um, and what you do is you'd click into the, those links, either on the, on the, on Twitter, Twitter, or Twi Facebook or on the website. And you will run through the details. You'll register your username and password and uh, email address. Um, and that will bring you into a paywall. Uh, there you can pay via uh, PayPal or standard credit card and you will be given the codes for the game. And, uh, you know, you can, you can be user on that. You can stream it on your phone, on your tablet, on your laptop, smart TV, um, you know, HDMI cable to a TV, you know, you can get it to your TV. And this is what I say, you know, you know, people go to games. I, as a child, as you as a child, go to, you go to games as a family, you know, that's not possible anymore. So sit down as a family and watch the game, you know, and, and if the experience, we will do everything we can to have that experience as good as you're going to get. This is all brought about by the COVID restrictions, Billy. We're only allowed 200 people here in Cusick Park at the game, which is going to restrict us considerably. So this is for people that want to watch their club play cl county football and county hurling here for the next few months. It's a wonderful idea. It's very well done. And uh, we hope everybody will take part in this. It's, 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 it's another way of supporting your club as well. And Absolutely, Paul. And... and, and, and uh like the reality is that we can only let 200 people into the games and of that 200, 70 are going to be involved in the matches as, as participants between mentors and players. And then we have the people here running the games. So realistically, 100 paying um, people will attend games in the county. So clearly the demand is, is much higher than that to watch the games. So this is, this is a, a fabulous new innovation. For people to watch the games at home that can't come into the venues where they're taking place. And also people in the diaspora abroad who haven't had the opportunity to see Westmead club games before. And and, and that, I think that's a very exciting development. The diaspora, we have people all over the world, Westmead people all over the world doing great work for Westmead GA outside of this country. And it's going to be something else for them again. It's a very nominal fee. For €10, Euro, you'll be able to watch your game the very same as you would watch it as if you were here live. I've, I've seen this in action. We've had a trial run of this and it looks absolutely fantastic. It'll be as good a coverage as you'll get and anywhere on TV, as far as I'm concerned. And it also gives you a chance to support your club as well and to support your county. The colleges match yesterday and what a wonderful day it was for Rochford Bridge and congratulations to them. Uh, and uh, look, at people from all over the world will get to see their club playing now and, and, and we will be showing several games every weekend. 
and uh, it, I think it's going to be a very exciting development. And I'd like to thank all the people involved in the coaching, or sorry, in the in the in the PRO section of the county committee, led by Donny and Tom and yourself, Paul. And you're doing wonderful work, and I, and I think to be fair, Patrick Doherty is helping out very well as well. So great work being done, and the the quality of transmission yesterday was absolutely top class. It is indeed, Paul. It's a, it's a wonderful initiative, and uh, it's very exciting, to be honest. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it's going to take off, and uh, it's a great service. It's a great service to all the supporters and patrons and everybody who can't get to a game in these difficult times. It's a great opportunity to watch their local players and local teams perform in the championship. At the same time, it puts football into perspective. I think it was brilliant for the clubs to come back. I think that was the right decision, and... Uh, it was we we, were, we wouldn't bring the players back at this stage anyway because it's too early and it's, it's great for them to go away and have an opportunity to enjoy the club football and express themselves and when we get back in September we'll have plenty of time to prepare for two important league matches in the, towards the end of October Brendan uh, you're going to be one of the first games that's going to be televised on the new Air VTV next Sunday evening yourselves in a hearty uh, ding dong battle as Cyril Farrell would say over the years it's been a great rivalry and now that we have here VTV, uh, people that maybe are not going to be able to attend are going to be able to watch it here from Cusick Park. Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, no, it's great because just talking to the lads there uh, with the way things are, it's only like 100 tickets that's coming on. So we'll only have 100 supporters in total between the two teams. Um, no, it's brilliant. At least people can go at home and, you know, with their families, watch the game. Um, and as you said, like, it's going to be ding-dong stuff. There's, there's never that in between. Either of us, so I'd say it'll be something along the same lines next Sunday, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, look, looking forward to it anyway. Yeah. I'm here with the two main men from Air VTD TV, our two cameramen for the next few weeks and months, Jer Gavin and Ollie Gallagher, two men very well known to Westmead Gales. And uh, we had a little trial run here on Friday, Jer, and everything seemed to go well. And it looks, uh, it looks like it's going to be a, a fabulous initiative from Westmead. Yeah, brilliant step forward for Westmead. It's the way things has to go. Uh, to get some of the, the, the patrons to see games. Um, every club in the county is looking for it. So uh, quality is, 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 is excellent. Uh, the service from 247 TV is brilliant. So hopefully people will buy into it now and, and, and get to see the games and have something to talk about. Yeah, and speaking of that, Ali, it is a great service. Uh, we, we watched it back here on Friday evening after doing the trial run here with 247 TV uh, for Air VTV. And it, it is a super service. It, it's, it's as good as being, it's almost as good as being there, as Jeff Sterling used to say on, on Sky News. Well, whoever's idea it was, and I have a feeling it's this man on my right hand side, Donnie Malone, is a lot to say into it. But I think it's a brilliant idea. I hope it works well. I hope it creates revenue. And I hope nobody's lo- losing money over it. Yeah, and, and speaking of that revenue, it, it, it's apart from anything else, it's, as, as Jar has as, as you suggested, it's, it's ways for people to watch their home club, I suppose, more than anything else. Gather together, maybe a couple of them together, watch it on TV, and they're still able to support the club, and the county for that matter. That's it, and like, the whole county needs it to keep things going, because um, this virus is not going to go away in a hurry, but the county team and our GA is going to be here forever, so we have to keep it as strong as we can. Yeah, and, and Ollie, it, it's great to be back here in Cusick Park. It's great to be back at games, I suppose. Little did we think four months ago that we'd be back so quickly, and... Uh, it's wonderful to be back at games, watching games, even as in your scenario, filming games, but at the same time, it's good to be back. It's great to be back, and it's great to be back at the, the Gales of Westmead all meeting again in Cusie Park and Moat and Trouble Fair, whatever you like to say it. And uh, we just, everyone's keeping their fingers crossed now that everything works out, that we don't, there's not a big stop all of a sudden down the line, that we see the championships through, and we'll have a few county champions, champions at, at the end of the year, or at the end of the few months at this stage. But, uh, no, it's a great, great idea and I, I hope it works out for everybody.